In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how to zoom in and out in Talking Head YouTube videos. To get started, let's jump inside of DaVinci Resolve. We're going to select the clip that we want to add our zoom effect to, and we're going to head across to the inspector. If your inspector is not open, you can click on this inspector button and it'll open up. Make sure we're on video and you're not on audio or any of your effects. So make sure we're on the video setting. And we're gonna head down below cropping to dynamic zoom and we're going to turn that on. Now it's automatically going to use dynamic zoom linear. Let's have a look at how it's added a zoom to our clip. Okay, so quite a nice zoom out effect that it's added. Now if we wanna swap that, if we wanna zoom into our talking head, you just click that swap. Let's have a look at the zoom in. Now the setting is on linear, so it's going to be a linear zoom right now. If we want to change that, you can click on the drop down and we have three other options. We can ease in, ease out or ease in and out. Now the ease in effect is going to go slowly at the beginning and speed up. Have a look at it. Ease out is going to do the opposite, so it's going to start off quickly and slow down and ease in and ease out will go slow to fast to slow. Now this is completely up to you which option you want to go for. We're gonna stick with linear for now and then to change the amount that you zoom, you can head to the left hand side here below the timeline, click on the drop down and then head to dynamic zoom. And then it's gonna show us these green and red boxes. Now the green box is the starting point of your zoom and red is the ending point. So at the moment we're starting on full frame, zooming in to the red. If we swap it, we're gonna start on the inside and end on the outside. Now if you want to change how much you zoom, you can head to any of the corners, select the circle and scroll. Now you can make the zoom bigger or smaller and you can also move the box as to where it's going to zoom. So we can change the effect to where it starts and ends and let's watch that through. Now you can change both the start and the end point. The end point you can drag and if you want to pan across a video, all you need to do is make these boxes the same size, start on one side and end on the other. Let's have a look at that pan. So that's a really cool effect and you can pan down if you want to. So you start in the middle and panning down. Let's just center that and panning down. So these dynamic zooms can add so much to your talking head YouTube videos and it's a great way to keep your audience engaged in your videos and increase your watch time. If you have any questions or queries about how to zoom in your YouTube videos inside of DaVinci Resolve, let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.